Ibrahim Banduka went through an absolute war today, man. Holy smokes. You take the true second, you knock off work. Were you the five seed? I was the five seed coming in here, yep. So listen, we met last year at the NCAAs in St. Louis, and your story has inspired me. Every time I think I got it rough or things are going bad, I think about your story. You know, you, you survived a civil war, right? Yep. Where are you from? Sierra Leone. So you're from Sierra Leone. Yep. And whenever I think things are going bad, I'm like, well, nobody's come to murder me in my name. And so you survived. Yeah. Like, literally, that's what you survived. Yeah. Looking at today's days like today, you come in the five seed, you overcome a lot. First off, beautiful glass doubles, by the way. Thank you. Those are, yeah, you're explosive. But what's going through your mind today? You know, you've had some rough times, obviously, in life. Yeah. But does this even compare to that? No, this doesn't compare to nothing. It's just the way I see it is if I've gone through all that stuff, then wrestling out here all these guys is the same thing. Just, you know, just got to up my tempo, you know, do what I do best. Just block out everything and just think of, you know, fight, fight, fight. And that's what my parents did for me. And that's, you know, that's how I got here, you know. But, yeah. Coach Beasley, you know, you had some changes. Coach Russell to Coach Beasley, yeah. a little different, some transitions. Yeah. If you look at that, um, how crazy has this year been, last year? You make the NCAAs last year. Mm -hmm. Now you got a different coach in September. Yeah. What's going through your mind when you get this new coaching change? What are you thinking? And UW all is a pretty tough conference, mm -hmm. right? How is Coach Beasley different than Coach Russell? What do you like about it? Uh, well, Beasley's a, <laughs> he's a tough dude in the room, I can say that. But overall, he's a nice guy. Like, same thing with Coach Russell. He'll do whatever it takes for you to, you know, if you need anything, he'll get it for you as long as you're living the right lifestyle, going to class, not missing anything, not going out, you know, partying, you know, on weekends, you know, hanging out with your friends, teammates, becoming a, together as a group, as a family, which I think is a very good thing. That's what he's been preaching all year, just live the right lifestyle, which I've done most, uh, most of the year. And, and it showed out here because most of these guys, I bet, did not live the right lifestyle, so... I like that Sean Russell match. Oh, man. I was impressed. I can't you didn't wait. go down, though. You didn't go down. I know. I know. Can you get out? Yeah, I can get out. It's just, I don't know. I got He was pushing me out of bounds, and I couldn't hold my ground. I was really upset about it after the match. I went back there, and I was talking to one of our assistant coach, uh, Greg, and he was like, you got to hold your ground against them. You can't, you can't let someone just keep pushing out like that. You know, you're not going to get a stall call like that. You got to hold your ground, fight back, circle back in, which I hope I see him at, uh, I hope I see my NCAA. It's a new story. It's a new day. I don't want to wrestle you at NCAAs. Uh, You're not a sleeper. You're no. tough, man. Yeah. Looking at that, what's the goals going in? It's your senior year, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. This is it. Yeah. What's the goal? Uh, well, the goal is make it to that podium, top eight, win it if I have to, you know? All I have to do is go out there, have a game plan like I did here today, and just stick with my game plan. And, you know, I've been working hard for, like, what, past 10 years now since I started wrestling in high school. And this is what I've been dreaming about every every time. And going into the tournament this year, I'm gonna be healthy. Last year I had a messed up knee, but this year feeling great, feeling good. I'm healthy, and I can't wait to wrestle. Jared Ward was a four-time Virginia State champion. Yeah. You were sixth once. Yeah, I was. How, <laughs> how crazy is that? <laughs> oh, it's just it's just all the coaches that I've uh, that I've you know traveled with, that came up with, that coached me. Uh, thanks to Coach uh, Coach Russell, of course, and then it goes all the way back to my club coach, Coach Hill. Best guy you'll ever meet. Shout out to Gunson Wrestling Club. They're amazing. They made me tough as nails. And besides that, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have kept on wrestling. Because in our high school, T.C. Williams, like, I mean, one of the baddest high schools in, you know, in that little county. And, you know, things happened, but I stuck with wrestling. And he, you know, taught me a lot of life lessons, which helped me become a man today. What's next? After all this is done in two weeks, what's next? Uh, well, after two weeks, you know, get back. I gotta, you know, start doing resumes <laughs> to get what a job. What are you job. gonna be, though? What's your oh, degree? Oh, I'm a civil engineer. Uh, are you? Yeah, I'm a graduate of 3.0, which is a good thing. First in the family. It's exciting. Can't wait for my family to uh, be at my graduation. You're an American citizen. Of course, yes. Are you, are you, is there any thoughts of going back to Africa? Um, well, my dad goes back and forth. He's been building a house now. So, I mean, of course, I'm going to eventually go back and see him when he moves. I'm saying you go yeah. back and live career civil engineer designing infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Is that a possibility? Oh, I can, I, for sure. Because it's a, the country, it's, you know, third world country. You got to find a way to help give back, you know. And that's one of my goals is to give back to where I came from. So. All right, man. Well, I'll see you in Cleveland. Thanks for the time. Mm -hmm. Thanks for showing me the heart of a champion. Thanks for teaching me so many life lessons from last year all the way to this year, and good luck to you. Thank you so much.